Alert. Good afternoon and welcome to the Now Detroit. I'm Stephen Clark. And I'm Heather Catala. We begin today with breaking news in River Rouge, where the son of a Metro Detroit councilman has been charged with murder. That man from River Rouge is locked up right now, charged with killing a suspected drug dealer. It happened Friday night at a home just blocks from the councilman's house. Let's go live to 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell, who was in court when the defendant faced a judge. Kim, what can you tell us? Well, this is a picture of the man who was killed. His name is Robert Carson Cook, and police say he has a criminal history. He has a record, a Michigan Department of Corrections record for accosting a minor for immoral purposes. Plus, River Rouge police say lately he has been dealing drugs and that may have led to his death. My name is Justin Joseph Bruno. Mr. Pruno, you are being held in the city of River Rouge jail. Justin Pruno appeared before a judge for arraignment with no shirt on because sources say authorities had to take his clothing away after he tried to use a shirt to take his own life. The 34 year old is the son of a River Rouge councilman named Mark Pruno, who had no comment on the allegations facing his son. River Rouge police say on Friday, Justin rode his bike to this house on Oak Street, where 59 year old Robert Carson Cook lived. Cook was apparently dealing drugs. There was some sort of fight over drugs. Police say Justin shot Cook in the abdomen, killing him, then took off. That charge is a felony. If you were found guilty, you could go to prison for life. Pruno is charged with homicide and firearm charges. At this time, given the charges, the court is going to remand you to Wayne County Jail with no bond. I did reach out to River Rouge Councilman Mark Pruneau and he had no comment. In the meantime, coming up on 7 Action News at 5, you'll hear from people who know the man who was killed and what they have to say about all of this. Reporting live in River Rouge, Kim Russell, The Now Detroit. And Kim, do the relatives of the man who was killed have anything to say about the allegations that he was dealing drugs? Actually, right now, River Rouge police are looking for relatives of the man who was killed. They've been unable to locate next of kin. They are asking anyone who knows his family to please ask them to give them a call. Back to you.